What's going on guys? It's Jeff and happy Valentine's Day. So every single year for the past uh, quite a few years, five, six years now, I hope everybody got, you know, surprised or going out and doing something nice or staying inside and doing something nice, whatever it may be. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm recording this uh, a couple hours after it has just turned Valentine's Day. Uh, so every single year for the past uh, six years now, I've made a video on Valentine's Day uh, telling the story of my friend Jordan. I know a lot of you guys that have been around for at least a year has seen this video at least once and at least remember this story and some of you have stuck around for years and years and years but I don't know I just feel like this is something that I should continue doing because it still affects my life today and it's probably going to affect me for the rest of my life it was 2012 I was in my senior year in high school it was my graduating year just a couple months few months away from graduating and as you guys know you know I wasn't the best student I had my group of friends that were also not the best students in the world but I had great times with them throughout those four years in high school I went to a vocational school I went to this vocational school for auto mechanics went there did my normal classes you know the math the English all that stuff and then at some point I will go into my auto mechanics class and now admittedly I didn't pay too much attention in there but being in that class brought me to meeting my friend Jordan now, I'm gonna say here right now that I was not his best friend I didn't know him you know so deeply to the point to where I was considered family or something he never did anything wrong to me he was always just always really great Jordan was kind of wild he was he was free I, I don't know how else to really explain it I was in more trouble than him I guess during uh, you know throughout the school years and stuff but he was not a perfect student either uh, but I think that's probably why we clicked so much we could relate on a lot of things and being in that auto mechanics class allowed us to have you know more time to be able to talk to each other get to know each other and just hang out and you know work on cars and just bullshit and all this stuff so it's the senior year I had already known him for years you know he's been in my class for years at that point and after knowing him you know pretty decently you know on a school slash friend level you're not super deep into each other's personal lives February 14th 2012 rolls around and and in this school we would end up having these activity periods where um, people that were part of certain clubs like for example we are the actual auto mechanic students but there are people that went into the auto club to just kind of get a glimpse of you know what goes on in the class so we would have these activity periods and a ton and I mean a ton of people would come down way too many for this whole classroom with the garages and lifts and all that other stuff there and again with not many teachers as well some people were angry with the teacher but I couldn't expect him to watch all these people but we're in the class it was another normal day nothing seemed you know weird or off or anything like that it's Valentine's Day and Jordan comes up to me and asks me hey can you read this yeah I just wanted somebody to look this over over to you know is it too corny does it is it good is it bad do you think this girl will like it because Jordan was not really you know the big dating type or anything like that and also you know just being young this girl in particular he really really liked he really seriously sincerely cared for her and I read it over and even though I didn't know anything about the relationship on a personal level I could feel like everything that he was saying because he's such a jokester whenever somebody that isn't usually serious all the time when they're serious you can you know it's it's 10 times more serious and at the reading, I was like, damn, dude, you know, this is really nice. You know, she'll love it. And he thanks me and then he goes off, okay? This activity period starts and the classroom is just filled with people. It's a classroom slash garage area. So there's a classroom, a computer area, and then there's the lifts where, you know, we work on the cars and everything. And there's also like the tool room and all that. The whole place is filled, okay? We had one or two teachers there the entire time. But so many students just walking around, sitting around bullshit, and other people are actually working on cars. Other people are walking out of the back and stuff. And Jordan, you know, being the type of person that he is, he just decides that he wants to leave school early you know it's just a couple more hours that's when the activity period started at the end of the day a couple more hours just to go in your day he decides to go and leave with somebody a couple hours later I see people posting things on Facebook and saying things that something happened to Jordan Jordan has been in an accident people are saying this and people are saying that and people don't know what to believe turned out to be true Jordan left the school early with somebody else he was in the passenger seat and out here in New Jersey there's a lot of like farmland a lot of winding roads a lot of gravel and things like that I don't really know exactly how it happened what happened I still don't even really know to this day because the whole thing is you know it's already happened the person that was driving the car ended up losing control of the vehicle on a winding road and then there's like a straightaway there's farmland on both sides of this road okay there's actually a, a small house there of the people that own this farm they lost control of the vehicle veered off of the road and crashed into these big large like wooden fences and when they crashed into the fence one of the big pieces of wood went through the windshield and hit Jordan in the head and virtually it killed him. So the next day, everybody's in school. People are really upset. People are still trying to talk to each other. Everybody started coming together. People had banners made. All of the shops and stuff made like these little pins and stuff that people wore to support him and hope that he recovers because he was not dead at the site. He was still in the hospital. He was still alive, but there was no brain activity. Over the course of, I think, 
I can't remember if it was two or three days after everybody has just been trying to, you know, go through and do their work and stuff. And a lot of people couldn't. They held special classes and stuff for us. We didn't do any work for a couple days just because everybody was just, we didn't know what to do. As young kids, death is always extremely hard to swallow, obviously. But, but for a bunch of kids to be caught off guard like this, especially when you're young and you, you know, you feel invincible. And I know that sounds like something that's really cliche, but it's a very real thing when you come in the next day and that person isn't there. They're, they're not there. Very, very real. And after multiple days of no brain activity, uh, his parents decided, you know, this was enough. Once everybody had uh, heard the news, it was, it was, it was just bad, man. Um, all the news had spread about it and everything. Um, yeah, it was just, no one could really believe it. The atmosphere of the school was just so dark and heavy and it was just strange like people that would usually be talking and be the center of attention are off to the wayside staring off somewhere we ended up going to his funeral uh closed casket we talked with everybody and the girl that he was dating at the time that was supposed to be getting that letter that i read um was there and it was just it was bad we've set up this thing with the farm people there uh to set up a small little uh like memorial for him right there at the farm everybody drove there had like a candlelit vigil at that point in my life I, I had that's never happened to me before not even in my family like anybody that i knew personally in my family that i've talked to that i've spoken to it's never happened to me it's, it's something that sticks with you throughout your entire life i'm sure all of you that have actually experienced losses completely understand what i'm talking about things just happen that we can't control and there was a small little article on him and everything and it had like this uh, paragraph or two or something just talking about oh he went to the school and this is what he liked doing and everything but, but that really didn't you, you can't just take somebody's life and then squish it down into two paragraphs to really understand who they are so that's why i try to tell his story each and every single year that this date comes by over the years it's something that i have learned to live with i even get like this gut-wrenching feeling every single time i think about the date coming up as soon as february starts or when people start talking about the end of january or something i just get this weird feeling in my stomach like something bad happened around this time oh it's coming and i just wanted to tell everybody on this day on valentine's day rest in peace jordan for everybody out out there please 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 be careful things can happen to good people things can happen to bad people things can just happen to anybody obviously this video is not monetized or anything like that it never has been this is just an annual thing that i do on my channel um to remember him and to remind everybody to keep their loved ones close to stay safe don't take anyone or anything for granted it's just yeah i'm rambling now so um yeah i'll just end the video here anyway yeah thank you guys so much for listening to the story and and rest in peace jordan